Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to create this in After Effects. Let's start. Ok guys, welcome back. I'm gonna put the vectors link in my description below, you can download it from there. And now first let's select this background and block it. And then let's select this hand right, let's go to solo. And now go to the puppet pin, you can press Ctrl P for that as well. And let's make a puppet like this. And then go to FX Control and let's rig our hand. And now let's go to the window and let's click to do it Angela. Ok nice and then go to here, links and constraints and make sure you click puppet before pressing add pins because otherwise it will not work and then click add pins and click ignore. Ok nice now let's check it, nice it's working good and now let's select these pins and let's link it to each other. Select this pin 3, let's link it to 2 and select 2, link it to 1. And now let's close it and select this pin 1, let's link it to body. And then let's select this all these 3 pins and click auto rig and click ignore. Ok nice, as you see our rig is done, let's check it. Nice. And now let's move it to here and let's go to arm solo. Let's check it from there. Ok nice. And now let's select this hand left, go to solo. Let's select this puppet pin and make puppets for it as well. And select this puppet and go to add pins and press ignore. Ok nice, now let's link it to 2 and 2 to 1 and select this one and let's link it to body. Let's see, nice and select these pins and press auto rig and click ignore. Ok this one is done as well, let's go down solo, let's see, nice. Now let's close it because we will not use it anymore. And then select this body, go to solo and select this pen behind. Let's move the anchor point to the down. Go to on solo and select this head. Let's move to anchor point here. Nice. And then select this leg right. Let's go to solo and let's move to anchor point as well. And then select this leg left, go to solo, and let's move the anchor point as well. Let's go to unsolo, let's check it. Nice. And now select this head, let's link it to body, and select this mouse, let's link it to body. Ok nice, now we can start give animation to our character. And first let's start with hands. Let's select the controller one, let's change the name controller right. And select this one, let's change it to controller left. Select this right controller, press P and make position keyframe, go to 3 keyframes and move to like this and go to 3 keyframe again. Let's move to there and go to 4 keyframe. Let's move to up like this go to 2 keyframe, let's move to down and go to 3 keyframe again, let's move to here and go to 3 keyframe again, let's move to like this and then select first keyframe, let's control C and control V here, select the keyframes and let's copy let's see it Nice, let's copy it again to make it full, nice, and then let's move it to here to change the area, and then right mouse, trim comp to work area, and then select the controller left, let's zoom it and press P, make position keyframe, 
let's go to 4 keyframe and move to like this and go 3 keyframe let's move it to down and go 3 keyframe again let's move it to here and go one more time 3 keyframe let's move to down and then go 2 keyframe let's move to up and then go 4 keyframe let's move it to down and then go 2 keyframe let's copy the first keyframe and control V let's select keyframes and control V for loop animation now let's check it Okay, nice. And now let's select this monitor light. Let's go to first second and press T. Let's make opacity keyframe and go to 4 keyframe. Let's change it to 40. And go to 3 keyframe. And go 3 keyframe again. Let's make it 50. And go 4 keyframe again. Let's make it 100. Now select keyframes and let's copy and paste. Ok nice, and select the keyframes, let's make it easy -ease. or you can press F9 for that. Let's check it. Ok, it's a little bit fast, and select the keyframes, let's move to the right, and hold out, let's move to the left like this. Let's do it again, let's hold out and move to the left. Let's see now. Ok nice, this one looks good. Now let's give animation to our head. Let's select this head, go to first second and press R. Make a rotation keyframe. Go to 10 keyframe, for that you can use hold shift and page down. Let's change it to minus 6. Ok as you see there is some problem. Let's go to first second and select this mouse. Let's link it to head. And then go to here, select the keyframes and make them easy ease. And select this head, hold shift and press P. Let's go to first second and make position keyframe. Go to 10 keyframe and click here. And then go to the middle. Let's move it to down. Now select the keyframes and make them easy. Let's see. Nice, select the keyframes and hold out, let's move to the left. And select the middle position keyframe, let's move it to the right a little bit. Let's see now. Ok, nice. And then go to here and make keyframes for it. Go to 10 keyframe, let's change the rotation keyframe to 4. And make position keyframe again, go to the middle. And let's copy this keyframe and control V here. Select the keyframes and hold that. Let's move it to the left a little bit. See? Nice. Then go to here. Let's do the same. And go 10 keyframes is holding shift and page down. And let's change the rotation keyframe to minus 4. And copy this position keyframe. Let's paste here and go to the middle. And let's paste this one to here. Let's see. Okay, it's a little bit slow. Let's select keyframes and hold out, move to the left. Let's see. Nice. And then let's do it one more time. Make keyframes and go 10 keyframe. Let's make static position keyframe and change the rotation to zero. Go to the center and select this position keyframe and paste here. Select keyframes and hold out, move to the left. Let's see it full. Nice. And now let's give animation to our body. Let's select the body, go to first second and press R and hold shift, press P. Make keyframes, go to here. Let's change the body to minus 2 
and make static position keyframe go to the center let's move the body a little bit down and select keyframes make them easy let's see let's select head and body keyframes and move to right let's see nice and then go to here let's make city keyframes again and go to here let's change it to 3 and copy this position keyframe and select this one as well let's go to the middle and paste here let's see nice and go to our third hit keyframes and make static keyframes for body to make it bounce let's change the rotation to minus 2 and make static keyframe for position go to the middle and copy this keyframe and go to the last keyframes make static again go to here and change the rotation to 0 and make static keyframe and let's copy this one to here as well let's see it full nice now let's give animation to our leg i'm gonna give animation to our leg left let's select this leg left and go to first second press r make rotation keyframe and let's change it to four or maybe three let's go 10 keyframe let's make it minus three and go one more time 10 keyframe select the first keyframe and paste here select the keyframes and make them easy is and hold alt click here to make it loop animation and press play button go to property and loop out click here select the keyframes and hold alt move to the right let's see okay it's a little bit so fast let's select the keyframes and hold alt move to the right a little bit nice and now as you can see we have a codes in our background let's give animation to it let's select this codes and first let's go to fx presets let's search for glow and let's add it to our codes let's zoom it a little bit and change the glow radius to 4 and glow intensity to 0.4 and then go to fx presets again let's search for reptile let's add it to our codes and let's move this reptile to up and let's change it to expand up and to change it more fast you can hold shift and click here and move to like this nice and now go to first second let's select codes press p make position keyframe go to the end let's move it to down i think it's enough let's see nice and as you can see it comes here let's fix it with shape layer go to shape layer and let's make a shape like this and let's click here to see the color and go to fill let's select this color click ok and click here let's check it now okay nice and now let's select these codes let's select these keyframes as well go to the end let's move it to the left okay nice and now ctrl d let's press u to see keyframes and select keyframes and move to right and a little bit up and let's copy the first one again and press u to see keyframes and let's move it to right okay nice and select this code 3 again let's select keyframes and move it like this okay nice and select this code 1 again ctrl d press u to see keyframes and let's move it to right and let's move it to down a little bit 
Okay, this one is better. Nice. And now select these or codes. Let's pre-compose them and call them codes. And control D. Let's move them to the right. Nice. Let's control D one more time. And now select these three codes, press T. Let's change the opacity to 60. And now let's see it. Or maybe let's change it to 40. Okay, this one looks very good. So guys, thanks for watching my video, please don't forget to subscribe channel and leave a comment in my video. See you in the next videos.